Howdy there, uh, it is Adrian. Today we are in my kitchen. I cleaned it up a little bit for you guys. We are going to be making boba, boba tea, boba drinks. Um, I've never made it before, so hopefully it turns out great. We have our tapioca flour, not sponsored by any of these brands, obviously. We have panela sugar, um, is the closest thing I could find to muscovado sugar. I am following Emmy in Japan's recipe, the kitty cat. Um, and so if you want a legit following of the recipe, check her out. He really wanted to say hi. Say hi. These are the two base ingredients, tapioca and the sugar. You want to get a raw of a sugar as possible, it appears. And for my drink, I'm going to have a lemonade and I have a blue pixie tea. Um, I also have some freeze dried strawberries and raspberries. These are going to be kind of like an emulsified powder that I'm going to add. I've noticed that's kind of what people put in their drinks to have that strawberry lemonade, but we'll see how it works out. If it doesn't, I've got frozen fruit in the fridge and we'll make it work. All right, let's get these things measured. Now that we have our ingredients measured out, what we need to do is heat up our water and our sugar together in a skillet um, until they are emulsified, put together basically. And then after that, we add a little bit of our starch and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna be uh, heating up some of this water and then the 45 grams of the panela sugar just until it starts to dissolve. It's got such a lovely dark color. I guess that's where the boba gets its color from, eh? You can hardly tell if it's all dissolved or not. Uh, it's almost there. Almost. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the heat and let it finish dissolving because this pan holds a lot of heat. Amy says to add about a spoonful of the tapioca starch, so mm, I'd say that's about a spoonful. And then just uh, blend it in and try to avoid lumps. Ooh, it looks like caramel. Caramel, however you say it. Okay. Once uh, you've got it emulsified, all stirred up together, she says, pop that heat back on and stir it until it starts getting thick. Uh, I'm gonna cook it on the low, just because this pan holds a lot of heat. Whoa, what's this? Um, definitely started to thicken, but there's like little worms in there. I took it off the heat. So we've got this going on. There's little, gelatinous cubes. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, okay, okay. All right, uh, <laughs> it seems like that might be normal. Let's cook it some more. If not, we can always try it again. We have plenty of ingredients. Down. Well, the gelatinous cubes are getting bigger. What? We have a visitor. Well, the big cubes are kind of starting to emulsify into the whole thing. The whole house smells like molasses. So this is about the consistency that she had it in her video. And then uh, let's add some starch. All right, so we are gonna add 
all of the starch in like show and then mixy mixy I'm gonna get in there with my little fingies uh, it's hot so be careful it's like making pie crust shoving all that flour into a dough that doesn't want to receive it we have our base dough um, I'm gonna knead it for a bit with this recipe and the amount of starch that I put in it's really really dry I think this is an altitude problem all right um, I ended up adding much more water um, because it just wasn't sticking to itself whenever we were making snakes so hopefully this works and if it doesn't I will make another batch update um, they're still falling apart. I think we cooked the starch and sugar too long, so I'm gonna redo that and I'll catch back up with you after I've done that. All right, so we've went ahead and melted the sugar. Now let's add our tablespoon of starch and then stir that up. Let's see how that goes. This time I'm gonna keep it on a low heat and keep it there <laughs> instead of fluctuating temperatures. So the same lumps that we were having last time are back. I don't know what they are. Should I just, I also changed the spatula because you're not supposed to use metal on a little corset. They're gonna yell at me. Look, it's just getting thicker and thicker. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like gelatin, it'll just go down after I mix it in. I'm gonna turn it off for a bit. We'll just stir it while it's off. Maybe I can emulsify it together. The clumps are emulsifying and now it's too hot to hold that. But. And I took it off when it was a lighter color, um, like just as soon as it started to thicken. So hopefully that's what the problem was. Another theory that I have, here's the starch, is it's also kind of dry out today. Who knows, that might have something to do with it. Um, so I'm gonna add less at a time instead of just dumping it all in there. Um, I'm adding about two tablespoons. I would say it's doing a ton better. 100% better. I think we overcooked the sugar the first time. That's gotta be it. A little. Another little bit at a time. I'm cutting my hand in starch so it doesn't get too sticky. Every time I think, yeah, that's it. That's all it's gonna absorb. It always comes back more. Yeah, we're gonna stop there. Just cause I don't want what happened to Fred to happen to George. All right, so we have a beautiful, stretchy, slightly sticky dough that we can now, and it'll stick to itself. That's the important part. Now we can make little snakes, cut them up. Look at that, it's sticking compared to its cousin, who's just breaking apart. It's so sad. Anyway, let's get making our little boba balls. To an hour later, I have all my balls made. Um, there's enough to make, I don't know, about three drinks worth. Um, I've got some big ones and some small ones. 
Um, I might pick out the small ones to boil them now because I don't have any fancy straws. But look at these guys. Apparently they also expand in the water. Um, now some feedback, I guess, is while I was working on them, the dough dried out and got all crumbly, just like the other dough. However, um, I was able to rehydrate it with water with ease, unlike the other dough, and it just worked like normal. Um, also, when you're cutting them, try not to have as much starch on the outside, like having it plain versus having starch on it because it'll be harder to emulsify them into a ball. They'll just kind of fall apart. Um, and then afterwards, coat them in the powder. That way they don't stick to each other. So you want them to stick together and then you don't want them to stick together. I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water and then we will cook these puppies and clean up my station because it's a mess. While I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my toppings. I've got these three straight strawberries and raspberries. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind them up in the mortar and pestle and then put them aside. I've also got some hot water boiling for my tea that I'm gonna make and we'll get that all made together. So we have our raspberry powder and our strawberry powder, as well as our blue tea is steeping, the butterfly tea. Um, when this mixes with the lemonade, I think it might turn purple, not quite sure. My plan is, I also am gonna make a brown sugar syrup by just cooking up some of the sugar until it becomes a emulsification. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but forgive me. Hey, anyway. I'm gonna mix the brown sugar syrup at the bottom with the powder, uh, and hopefully they're gonna still be warm. I like the way that that tastes. We're gonna add our tea um, on top. We're gonna add our lemonade and then our tea on top, and then hopefully it'll look like a cool thingamajiggy. Anyway, so they've kind of stuck together a little bit. So I'm just gonna pop them in. Be careful, please, as you're doing this. They are for sure not round anymore and they have divots in them because I guess I didn't do that good of a job. And as I was stirring, huh, what if I just do this and then add them all? Ooh, that did the trick. Okay, so now what you gotta do is you have to wait until they all are floating. Uh, some of them are, but they all separated from each other, so I guess you can just plop them in. Okay, now that they're all floating, we cover it and set a timer for 20 minutes. Small side note, I recommend cooking the bowls a lot longer. Um, the goal is to make them completely transparent. My bowls had a little bit of a opaqueness in the middle, and uh, after chewing a bunch of them, I got a little bit of like a upset stomach because of how undercooked they were. So your goal is cook them all the way through instead of letting them look like little frog eggs. All right, so after the 20 minutes cooking, you turn it off and you let it sit for 20 minutes. All right, so we have our, oh, almost spilled in there our bobo balls. Um, they look kind of like little frog eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these and I'm gonna add it into my brown sugar syrup. It is warm and these are warm. So I think I'm gonna pick out the little small ones. So I found some bigger straws. Um, they're not very big, so I'm gonna see if I can pick out some smaller ones. All right, I have enough in here for a drink. Um, my future drinks, I'm just gonna let them soak in the beverage and then eat them with a spoon. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We have our cup here, and I'm gonna go ahead and place our boba. I'm gonna kind of strain some of the sauce out in here. We've got the raspberry powder and the 
strawberry powder with chunks. I'm gonna give this a stir. I wanna add more. Because I'm making this for myself, I can. So it's like a brown sugar strawberry syrup sauce. With the lemonade, I'm just gonna pour it over the Nani? Pour it over the Pour it over the spoon so it kind of keeps a little bit of the separation. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the tea. The tea did exactly what I thought it would do. It turned purple as soon as it hit the lemonade. I think it's a, a like a reaction to the acidity of the lemon because it also works with vinegar, but uh, unless I wanted to put some apple cider vinegar in this drink, which I don't right now, uh, then I wouldn't get the reaction. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. I know it's it's, it's pretty, but I'm gonna ruin it. And hopefully, boba through the straw. Hopefully. Oh, they're a little too big. Look, this one made it up halfway. <laughs> this one didn't make it. <laughs> okay. The boba, although I had to like yank it out of that straw. It's really good. Um, it's very different than the boba that I get, like let's say a, a, a typical boba shop. Uh, it is really soft. Um, the sweetness of the sugar comes out in a very subtle manner. Um, the brown sugar sweetened the drink really nicely. It was already sweet enough with the lemonade and the strawberry powder and stuff, but I guess that made it a little bit more tart. Um, yeah. Overall, I really like it. Uh, I'm sad that I don't have the correct kind of straw, but uh, let's get a little spoonful. They have their own unique flavor. They haven't absorbed the flavor of the beverage just yet, which I like to do. I like to let the tea settle for a bit. Would I say it is worth it? Uh, I don't know, I haven't made any store-bought boba. I think it would be quicker and easier. But if I made a large batch of these, like I've got still quite a bit left over except for it's a gelatinous cube. I'm gonna put some more in because I can. I made a bunch of them, I didn't cook them yet and I stored them in the freezer, I think that would work. Uh, other than that, I'd say buy the bubbles. Unless you uh, just really like doing it. Uh, it's a great way to take some time and to yourself cooking. Uh, trial and error is always key, uh, but it's like making your own dumplings or your own dumpling wrappers. Is it worth it for you? I don't know. This was fun. For me. But uh, this was kind of a experiment because I buy boba a lot and I wanted to see if I could make it myself. This tastes exactly like one of the ones that I buy, by the way. Um, called like a butterfly lemonade which uses the butterfly tea and lemonade and I added strawberries because why not it's definitely cheaper long term than buying uh, buying it at the store but then you don't get to you don't get to do the stabby stab anyway if you like this video uh, feel free to like and subscribe it is super helpful to a beginner youtuber like myself and you get to see more of a uh, me. I'm a little bit crazy sometimes. Um, I stream over on Twitch. Um, I should be streaming around three days a week. So catch me out there if you want to see video games, makeup, life, whatever. I'm changing it up and seeing what works. All right, drop in the spoon. I will see y'all next time. Little balls of joy. I'm not uh, short enough for this counter and or camera, so I have to squat. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little too tall.
just put a hot pad down. Or else I'm gonna get yelled at. Just so y'all can see just how messy this all is. Come on, come on. What was I saying? I don't know. My train of thought gone. I've been doing this for hours. Started at 11, it is now three o'clock.